Hey friends, my name is Carla, and if you're new around here, I vlog my life as a small business owner, a girly of faith, and my husband's chronic illness journey. He just received a kidney transplant last year, and he is a COVID survivor. And this was our first trip of this magnitude. Now we have traveled with a dialysis machine, we have flown with it, but this was the first trip of this magnitude that we've ever taken together. It was like a full 24 hours of travel. And I really felt a tug in my heart to go visit my friend she is a missionary in Spain and I just felt God leading me to go so we booked the trip and a few months later here we were on our way to Spain and I have dealt with a lot of anxiety since my husband's diagnoses and a lot of fear of him getting sick again and going through the really difficult seasons that we walk through and if you're curious about our story there's a playlist that I will link down below where you can see his whole transplant journey and COVID journey but truly this was a way for me and I really felt that God did this on purpose for me to step out in faith and go on a trip and finally feel like we could do these things again so I'm bringing you along sharing what God puts in my heart this was supposed to be such a simple like visiting a friend trip and it really ended up turning into so much more and we had some really amazing experiences so I hope you enjoy we have officially made it to Miami we had a little bit of I'm gonna say a tiny little hurdle getting to Miami I don't even know if you guys can hear me right now but not getting to Miami but like boarding the flight to Miami from Orlando to Miami was very interesting because our whole plan was to do carry on bags and my backpack is full to the brim and which I definitely overpacked and I am kicking myself a little bit for it but like I'm wearing a sweater on top of this shirt and then I'm also carrying my coat which is a big coat that I have right here and then um unfortunately I kind of overpacked my backpack and it's super heavy but my plan was to take it on my four-wheel luggage and I was going to be totally fine this ice is great fortunately we were literally the last group to board and they kept making announcements of like hey if you have carry-on luggage you're gonna have to check it in we're really cool so they kept making announcements i saw a handful of people go and check in their bags and they were totally fine with it but if you check in your bag you'll get it at your final destination which for us is two flights from now in oviedo spain so unfortunately we were the last group called and before we were even called they were like if you don't if you have luggage with you you're checking it in where all the overhead bin space is full so i was so bummed out because my whole point of wanting to take carry on is that we have three flights to get to where we're going and that is just way too much opportunity for things to get lost
Yes. Well, I'm coming at you looking super rough, but I wanted to check in super quick because it's probably been a hot minute since I checked in. It is currently Tuesday. It's like almost one in the morning and we have been in spain for like two days we got here on sunday we left home on sunday we got here on tuesday at noon or monday at noon so we've been here for about a day and a half two days and we've been having such a good time so far we have gone now and explored the city and have gotten to do a lot of really fun things but i am super excited because my friend has asked us to share our testimony at her church tomorrow and we're going to be sharing of course our testimony but also like a little teaching on the word we want to really bring the word of god into it as well so i am super excited i guess it was her turn to teach at her church where she's serving at and we are so excited that we're going to get to share and then on sunday she also asked us to share at two different churches on um in another city we're going to travel there and stay there most likely is what i'm thinking and so i'm super excited it's a church that was planted by missionaries from the u.s or they've been keeping up with those churches so i'm really excited to do that and be a part of that and right now i'm actually on canva putting together like a whole presentation um i did have one already made but it had less pictures and we're gonna have an hour tomorrow to speak and on sunday i'm sure we'll have more time too so i really want to update a kind of a slideshow that we can show it's good quality while we're speaking just to present kind of what we have been through and i'm really excited to share a little bit nervous because the spanish here is very different one from puerto rican spanish and two my spanish isn't perfect to start with i mean it's pretty good but it's not perfect and so i'm a little bit nervous i hope they understand me good but definitely that different like spaniard accents that i've heard here have been kind of harder with you know for me to keep up there. <laughs> So right now we are headed by ourselves to the mall. We tried to get there by train yesterday and after two and a half hours, we couldn't find the place we were supposed to go. So we had actually rented a car because we're heading to another state today, still in the north of Spain, but super nice. They gave us a BMW and we are going to try driving. We drove, when we rented it, we drove it here to my friend's apartment, but we're driving it for the first time out and about. And sorry, you guys are a little bit close to me right now, but this car is not that big. And I've noticed a lot of cars here in Spain are not, they're not, I mean, in America, everyone has like a pick, I mean, not everyone, but there's just a lot of pickup trucks and like mini SUVs and SUVs, at least where I live in central Florida. And I live in Polk County, which is um, a little bit more, um, it's not a big city. I live in Winter Haven, Florida. And anyways, the cars here are just small to me. They feel small to me because of where I'm from. So I thought that that was kind of interesting, like an interesting observation. They do drive on the right side of the road like we do in America. However, the, the signs are very different from the United States. I mean, you can look at them and be like, okay, that's what that means. They're easy to figure out, but like, 
they are not like the ones in America. So obviously you just don't think as quickly as you do over there when you're driving. And also the roads are very small and we are technically in a city city, you know? I tell Daniel that this reminds me of, this area reminds me of like New York, but like with an old world vibe, much quieter. I mean, the, the silence here is pretty incredible astounding. for a city. Like he's astounded because New York is not like that. There's music blaring. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a heck of a time editing this video because I have, I've had pretty bad congestion before I came and I was like, I'm still going. Um, but yeah, it, it's just the driving is different and people drive very quickly, nice enough, but they're very quick because of course they're used to it and we're just not used to driving like this and the road's being very small. So we got this car like very, very insured. <laughs> That was insane. I couldn't pick up the camera the entire time. It was not doable. It was awesome. How, how did you feel? It wasn't bad. It really wasn't. You liar. The, the worst part of that was um, lovely, delicate by Carla yelling at me half the time. But it really wasn't because that bad. Because Daniel, Miss Spaniard Siri and I, we, we had a competition. So, we just parallel parked our little BMW don't, right there. Don't show them that because that's so easy. There's nobody here. That was the easiest parallel parking I've ever done in my life. Now, I'm going to tell you what. We are pretty far from my friend's apartment. So we're going to walk downhill. But to get back to where we are right now, we would have to go uphill. So, so it's not bad. Oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> but the houses worse. here are so beautiful. Like, I am in love with how beautiful the homes are here. And everything is so quiet. I feel like I have to whisper. I you in there see yesterday. <laughs> But like, let me show you the homes here. They're beautiful. A little bit uphill right now, but. <laughs> like, aren't the homes here absolutely beautiful? They have like a more modern construction. They still look old school. <laughs> I don't think the camera can pick it up, but we are going uphill. Oh, you see, that's the school right there. I also have to say, I love fashion and the fashion here is pretty insane like everyone dresses so nicely and I feel like at least where I'm from in the US everyone dresses down a lot let me know when Dan I love our weather <laughs> Daniel loves the high yes. and humid weather I'm loving the cold and rainy and gray weather here this is the, the weather that vampires live in and I am an unofficial Cullen so <laughs> We just watched the movies the other day, so we're still on that. But the walking here is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I got chicken bites. Let me see. Instead of nuggets. What are they? It's a ball. And it's just chicken. What does it taste like? Like chicken. <laughs> like chicken. It tastes like a non-crunchy nugget. That's disgusting. Okay. Best part of the nugget is that it's crunchy. Daniel walked like 15 minutes down to the local McDonald's and we're about to taste McDonald's from Spain which I heard actually tastes different. Yeah but they look like moose knuckles. Like they look so weird. <laughs> <laughs> they look well welcome to Galicia Spain. I'm being kind of quiet because it's late and um we're getting ready to go to bed. So we got here about an hour ago. We it's literally one in the morning we got here at midnight that's because the driving was no joke it was two hours two and a half hours to get here we left a little too late and we are in a super high elevation i hope you can hear me we're actually on a really high elevation and this place is known for having lots of fog we had to go up mountains but it was pitch black because it's nighttime so we didn't get to see much of anything which was a bummer but y'all, the drive here was no joke. It's just so different for us.
coming into a cathedral and I am freaking out and I'm super excited. We just walked around the city. There's a wall you can see over there and there is a wall that surrounds a portion of the city. Back in the day, it was a wall that protected the city, but since then the city has been built outside and it's beautiful. It's freezing. It's freezing here. We are in Galicia. Galicia is a state or province um, in the very north of Spain. And their accent here is very different from the accent in the state that we have been, Asturias. My friend's chatting over there with Dan. And we just took like a stroll. You can walk on the wall. People just do it for exercise. Like, I just want to live here. This is so cool. And then we're about to go into this cathedral. And it is absolutely beautiful here. Portugal like I can't even believe that we got the opportunity to do drive two and a half hours down to Portugal we had an amazing time first of all in Galicia Spain it's another province about two hours from where my friend lives and there's two missionaries that live there who have opened up multiple churches and opened the doors of their home for us to stay in their apartment and also we got to share that Sunday morning in their church we had an amazing time doing that everyone was so warm so welcoming and I got to present the testimony of what we went through during the pandemic and my husband got to bring a really good word and yeah the church received it and it was an amazing amazing time and then afterwards they took us out to eat which was super good and then they told us the next day we could actually take a day off and go to Portugal so they went ahead and drove us down there it was two and a half hours away in Valencia I think I'm saying that correctly but it was gorgeous now from being from the u.s it was very interesting to just be able to drive right into another country like i'm not used to that but it was beautiful over there it was full of mountains and they were telling us that over there they do a lot of like going into the mountains and taking out i don't even know how they do this guys so sorry if my terms are kind of off but like you see a lot of stone and a lot of marble and stuff like that different type of materials over there because it's so prevalent in the mountains like over here our homes don't really have those type of things like we don't have uh, really nice stones in our homes because it's not as easy to obtain like it is in that area in the mountains so that was a really cool fact to learn but we had an amazing time visiting Portugal walking around and this trip was so life-changing everything went so smoothly and it was so relaxing and I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and I'm gonna see you next Friday thank you for watching bye Thank you.